We're going to tell you about the maths for this week. We're going to carry on with looking at number and place value. We've got lots of ordering and comparing going on. Monday and Tuesday, we're comparing objects and then we're comparing the numbers on the Tuesday. So looking at which one is the greatest and the smallest. And we're going to be using, this is since we've got very special symbols, haven't we? We have. I wonder if you can remember what this means. And I've got the one that is the opposite to that one. So mine is less than. And I've got greater than. Oh, is there one more? Are we missing one? I think so. <gasps> ah. Can you remember this one? Equal to or the same as. So you're going to be using these symbols this, this week to work out some of your maths problems. And we've got that on the plan to help you as well. So we're going to be looking at objects and looking at which ones are greater than and less than with the objects. And down the bottom here, we've got some challenges. Ooh. Oh, this one says which image is the odd one out? Do you know this is it? Well, I'm looking at the tens frame. I know there's ten. And how many ones are there? 10, 11 plus 11. There's 15 in this one. Ooh, and this one's with Lumicon. I think we can remember that one is a 10 Lumicon. And that one is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I wonder how much that would be. Ooh, and then there's two other groups. You've got to work out which is the odd one out. And can you tell your grown up why it's the odd one out? And then on Tuesday, we have got some jars of sweets. Okay, so telling you how many are in those jars of sweets, but it's not telling you that one. And I have to see if you can work out how many sweets could be in that jar, and there's more than one answer. So I can't wait to see what you find out with your maths learning this week. Have fun! Bye! Bye.